to promote our new channel, The History of Weapons. To see all of the History of Weapons videos that we produced, click the link below. Shuriken, roughly translated hand hidden blade, was a concealed carry weapon by the samurai that they would use to throw, to distract, and injure. And the consequences of being distracted by a shuriken were devastating. This concealed supplemental weapon of the samurai was created in the Miramacho period and evolved into the Edo period. There's two distinct types of shurikens out there. There's the bow shuriken, which is typically throwing knives. And then there's the hira shuriken, which is more of a disc shape. And these are referred to as the throwing stars. The history and the effectiveness of the shuriken is amazing. The feuds and the wars of the clans of the samurai went on for almost 800 years. Everyone for hundreds of generations in Japan were born in and died in civil war. The samurai became a critical piece of that. So did the schools of swordsmanship. It was the schools of swordsmanship that evolved the shuriken. The Tenshin Shodin Katori Shinto Ryu school came about in 1447 when Lysis Leneo, a swordsman, spent a thousand days in the Katori shrine practicing swordsmanship day and night. According to legend, in a dream, the Futsunushi warrior god of Japan handed him a secret martial arts strategy in a scroll called the Mokoroku Haiho no Shinsho. And out of that came the school, the Tenshin Shoden Katori Shinto Ryu, translated the way of the god of the Katori. School established in 1447. They never aligned themselves with any clan or government or faction. The major part of their swordsmanship was the bow shuriken. They would distract opponents by throwing knives at them and then attacking them. From there in 1566 came the Shinkaio Ryu or the New Shadow School. Its entire method revolved around the concept of Isatsu no Tachi, translated the sword of only one cut purpose of the school was to win a duel with one single cut. A major part of that was the shuriken. More specifically, the Hira shuriken evolved from this school being the disc. They would use the Hira shuriken to distract their opponent while they moved in for their one cut kill. From there evolved the Itu Ryu, which is a series of schools based on ancestral heritage. From the late 1500s through the 1600s, there were eight different I2 Ryu schools. Also, all of them were referred to I2 Ryu as I2 Ryu is translated one sword school, also following the way of the Shinkeu Ryu school. One cut was their goal. Because there were eight different I2 Ryu schools, they evolved the Hairu Shuriken into different styles depending on the family and heritage. So depending on which Ryu you were taught at, depending on which Hairu Shuriken you were trained in. Now another group of soldiers that was regularly associated with the Shuriken was the Ninja. Also referred to as the Ninja Shinobi, they were from families schooled in assassination, spying, and espionage. They were covert mercenary agents, mostly dressed to blend in with aristocrats and political figures. They only wore black in covert operations in the night. The term ninja stemmed from a fourth century prince who disguised himself as a woman to assassinate two political figures. The legend of his assassination evolved into the ninja way. The typical designs of the shurikens most of them had holes in them for carrying on a rope. They were always black, typically covered in charcoal, not just to give them that black appearance to make them less noticeable, but it also gave them a better grip. Occasionally, the tips of the shuriken would be dipped in poison. Ancient shurikens are very rare. 
similar to ancient katanas. However, katanas got a lot more care by their owners versus the shurikens typically were a one-use item. So there you go. There's the history of the evolution of the Hira and the bow shuriken. Love to hear your thoughts on those. Put them in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. And thank you for watching The History of Weapons.